Hey, what's up, everybody? Right now, you are probably looking and trying to figure out what diet or what workout plan are you going to be deciding to commit to for these upcoming 40 days. So I want to be able to give you some insight and help make that decision a little bit easier if you happen to be struggling. So let's start with fitness. Over these next 40 days, you should be committing to a fitness routine. Now, I know it's going to be human nature for some of us to think, okay, I've got 40 days. I'm going to be going to the gym every day for the next 40 days, and I'm going to kill it. And although in theory that sounds great, what we really want to be doing in this time is making sure that we're building habits that are going to challenge you in the short term, but are also going to be sustainable in the long term. So if you're finding that routine when it comes to fitness or struggling to find that routine when it comes to fitness, here's an easy suggestion. Get and do some strength training or resistance training three days a week. So somewhere between 30 to 45 minutes, depending on what you're doing right now, is plenty to get a great head start. And on those other days, I want you to do something that is positive for your overall health. That could be doing some cardio activity for your cardiovascular health, such as walking or hiking or biking, or doing things for your joint health, such as stretching, mobility, or even looking at Pilates. So make sure if you're diving into a fitness routine that you're picking something that will challenge you, but also is going to be sustainable. Now, on the other side of that, right now you're looking at diets and there are thousands of different diets out there. So I want you to pick again something that is going to challenge you in the short term, but is going to be sustainable in the long term. Now, I've got two different suggestions and you are not limited to these two, but I think a good starting spot would be looking at the Daniel Fast and adding in protein. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Daniel Fast, make sure you look it up. There's a ton of great information out there, but essentially we are avoiding all processed foods and we're eating foods that Daniel would have had access to in his time. And along with that, the traditional Daniel Fast does not include protein, but we know and science shows us that protein is crucial for overall longevity and health. So that is a great option. Now, if the Daniel Fast isn't something that you're quite ready for yet, you can go for what I call the colorful protein diet. And this one is gonna be a little bit more simplistic, but still an amazing starting spot. What this means is you should be having color on your plate and you should be having protein on your plate for every single meal that you eat. So when I'm talking color, I'm meaning fruits, vegetables. When I'm talking protein, I'm talking about the traditional proteins that could be lean meats, it could be eggs, it could be um, even coming from vegetarian sources such as tofu, if that's your thing. Uh, some very easy options for starting spots. Looking at breakfast, this could be eggs and an apple or Greek yogurt and some berries. Lunches, you could be looking at chicken or ground beef, but just make sure that you have either a side salad or some vegetables. And for dinner, even especially if you have a family or you're eating with others, this is a little bit more simplistic to follow, but whatever you're eating, make sure you've got some color on there. Again, whether that is from fruits or vegetables. So if you're looking at this and you're just not quite sure where to start, please reach out. Nutrition can be a very, very confusing. There's a lot of options out there for fitness, and I wanna help make sure that we can tailor you to the next 40 days so that you're seeing not only great physical results, but great spiritual results and being able to do this in something that will be sustainable for your lifestyle.